I want to say thank you to Administrative Results for the uh, shout out during his uh, HK91 video. As you can see, I have the uh, PTR91, and since uh, the video that he showed for uh, the shout out, I've upgraded it, of course, with the HK uh, front stock and bipod, which was part of that video. But then I also went with the uh, Magpul adjustable stock and put a uh, 10 power SWFA on it and uh, just been rock and rolling with it at least until uh, as you'll see a little bit later uh, things don't work real well in this video but anyways um, once again I want to say thank you for the shout out and I hope you enjoy the videos Well, tested out the first one and it, it, it did fine. Came over and did a second one and it stuck also. So, when you get to this situation, you just have to declare the loss and just, yeah, I'm going to scrap this brass. Fortunately, I found pretty good sized bag of Perfecta. All this is going in the trash. Well, not trash, but the bucket of shame. Fortunately, I found some Perfecta. I'm not even sure if I've ever even loaded it before. So that'll get used for tomorrow. I'm hoping to save the day yet. On Tuesday, Administrative Results gave me a shout out on his HK91 video. And once again, thank you for that. My ego through the roof right now in a positive way. Um, so, I'm going to film a thank you. I haven't done it yet. I'm not sure exactly where I want to do it at. But, anyways. Film the thank you and then flow into a reloading video where I was going to load a couple of different uh, loads. One a uh, 147 grain full metal jacket load and a 168 grain um, match load um, using second that appear to be, it, they look like Hornaday's. Anyways, um, Last night, Thursday, I nailed my cases, which you'll, you'll be seeing in a moment, or you've already seen maybe. And proceeded this morning to start sizing them, and it just, they, they weren't sizing. This is the second time I've had a stuck case, and this case was nailed a second time at a lower, slower rate with a hotter flame, and it's still. Uh, uh, stuck the case. So, 
had to go up to the academy. Fortunately, they did have one um, set of uh, Hornaday dies for uh, three, you know, 308 Hornaday dies. So uh, grab those. Of course, grab another can of powder that before it goes up to $50 a can. Uh, unfortunately, it was handgun powder and not rifle powder. And then uh, got back here. So started last night, then all day today. And then, of course, I had to do some other running around while you know, I actually had my shoes on. And uh, whole time, uh, you know, everything from there to right now has just basically been a, a waste of time, energy. And I have a bunch of brass that has to get into the uh, scrap bucket. And uh, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the, I mean, I'll, I'll make it to the range tomorrow because I also have some factory stuff. And I also have some other 168 grams that uh, uh, I put, you know, I put back and I keep in the bag all the time. So there, there's going to be some content, but the content I wanted to make, mm, so, so far today has been a real shit show. And uh, hopefully things will improve and at some point there will be actually a decent video to see. And it'll be out in a decent amount of time, maybe Saturday night or Sunday. I guess we'll see when this video is done, huh? Okay. The new Hornaday die has been doing a pretty good job rolling out some of these pretty crushed mounds. Normally one like this I would just toss, but I gave it a try and I'm only using one die today and I'm primed as you can see. As you can see, it rolled it out pretty nice. Okay, I got a good one there. Okay, doing a flyover. Check the, make sure there's powder in all the cases. I'm going to put together 10 cases or 10 cartridges. We'll be uh, using the Hornaday 155 grain ELD. But the most of this test will be with the uh, 147 grain. They both fall under the same charge weights so there shouldn't be any issues there because I'm actually using a hundred and fifty grain charge weight recommendations from the Spear 13 book these being 147s there shouldn't be any issues with that and then there's enough maximum charge weight for this is 47 grain so I'm a full grain below max using that particular data get them loaded and get them sharp
Okay. Fired the first 20 rounds just to check the scope. Kind of sloppy, That's but that's mostly on me. So once I became comfortable, we re reacquired the uh, trigger. Things started to tighten up, and then the last few shots were right in here. So that's using a 168 grain ball load that I've had for that, that I made for about a year and a half ago. Moved over to the 147 grain that I started to develop, and hmm, actually for this bullet out 308, it's actually not horrible. Still want to bump the powder charge up this in the speed. It was cracking around 27, 30 ish. And then was able to get what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds out. Number eight had a, a failure to fire. Tried it several more times. Failure to fire, failure to fire. So something's going on with the rifle. So the, the, the gun's down. I don't know if it just needs to get deep clean. I don't know if something's broken. It seems like it's chambering, you know, fully chambering. Yeah, I can hear the trigger release. Hammer hit the uh, firing pin, but there's no uh, there, there's no firing pin strikes on the primer. So I don't know what all I, I don't know what's going on here. So possibility I have a broken firing pin. The gun extracts the chart, yeah, you know, the the cartridges, loads the cartridges, does everything it's supposed to do, except for actually fire them. So until I know something different. I guess the rifle's down for a little while. Anyways, once again, thank you for watching, and have a good day.